So in today's web dev tip, I'm going to show you how you can set up an SSH key pair so you can use it with services such as GitHub. And in tomorrow's tutorial, when we look at setting up our server, you'll have a private key available uh, to use with your service that we're setting up. So you can do this on your terminal on a Mac. And I believe if you've got the Git extension tools, the Git command line installed on Windows, you can do the same thing. So it should be able to follow the same procedure on either Mac or Windows. So what we're going to do is create an SSH key pair. So you'll have a public key, which you provide to services like GitHub and uh, any hosting services to uh, verify that the, uh, the transmission, the data that you're sending is coming from you. And you'll have a private key, which you'll keep safe, uh, which will essentially ensure that the files that you're sending are encrypted and sent over a secure method. So to create an SSH key pair, uh, we can just simply say SSH keygen from the terminal. Uh, and when you hit that, uh, it will generate this uh, public uh, private key pair for you. Uh, and you'll have a few different options that you need to choose. So the first one is just where do you want to actually save the file? And you can just accept the default if you haven't uh, set up an SSH key before. Uh, I've already got one set up on that particular uh, file name there. So just for this demo purposes, I'm just going to uh, create a new one. Uh, just so I don't overwrite my existing key. So I'll just call that new key, for example. So if we hit enter, you can then provide a passphrase if you wish, so that uh, every time you use the uh, private key to make a, a transmission, then uh, obviously you will need to type in a password, but I'm just gonna leave that blank uh, for our tutorial. And once you do that, you can see that it's generated uh, the key pair and we're back on the terminal. So where has that actually stored that? Well, if we just have a look inside a special folder in our home directory called SSH, you can see we've got uh, this existing uh, key pair that we had set up. So this is the existing one that I had before, and this is the private key, and we can tell this one's the public key because we've got .pub, uh, and this is the new one that I just set up a moment ago. So if you need to use them for any reason, then they're here if you need to get grab them. And just to show you what the uh, keys look like. So we've got the new key, the private key. So this is the contents of the private key. And obviously there's some uh, text inside of the file that uh, tells us that it is a private key. So it should be pretty obvious what it is. So if you ever need that for anything, uh, you can literally just copy the whole thing uh, all the way to the bottom of the file uh, and then paste that into wherever you need to use it. Uh, the other one is obviously the public key as well. So just to show you what that looks like. It's obviously a lot shorter. And we can tell that's a public key from the format, but also so it's got some information uh, such as the user details of the uh, user who generated the key. Uh, so you can see straight away from that that it's got some public information in it. So that's our public key. So what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is setting up our server to host the files for our project. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.